This video is not going to be fun. To put things short, sweet, and to the point, Bike System Scripter number two has quit. Now I know this isn't the information everybody wanted to hear when they clicked on a Dream Game video, but this whole project, I'm trying to keep it 100% transparent with everybody, just so we all know what's going on. Now at this exact moment, I'm not sure what to do. I can assure everyone that the game's still coming out, but I keep having setbacks that are completely out of my control. I now have two incomplete bike systems, and I'm down thousands of real life dollars. And I can admit that the reason I'm down so much money on this project is because when I first started it, I was pretty much willing to pay anybody and everybody with a good portfolio and good words from their past employers or whatever. I was willing to pay everyone exactly what they were asking, just because I was super excited to get the show on the road. We've hit another wall here. And walls will happen in anybody's development, right? Whether you're making a quick simulator or a full-on game of your dreams, there's gonna be roadblocks. And this one honestly got me a little bit demotivated. But don't, don't mistake demotivation for like anything else. I'm still super passionate about this game and I'm still gonna continue to work on it, but we do have another setback now and I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna pass this one. Motorcycle stunting is literally my world right now. It doesn't matter how I'm feeling. When I hop on my bike, go hit a good riding day, I just, I'm good. I come home, I'm happy, everything's great. And with winter coming up, IRL riding is not really gonna be a thing for the rest of the season. And I was really hoping to get the dream game out at least in an alpha or beta state, for December. And then all of us could ride together through the winter, have a great time, and everything was gonna be golden. However, I have been extremely unsuccessful in finding a motivated team. And it seems like there's like a weird like disconnect or something, because not even money uh, at the beginning or middle of this project has motivated anybody to actually work on it. Now, I don't know if this is because I'm a horrible leader as a like a game dev team leader, or if the game is a bit more than most people are willing to work on. I know I've been very picky with the bike systems because I want it to be perfect, but I've also told both bike system people what it needed before they signed on. I guess things have just been a little whack. Now, obviously, I could hop into the dream game right now, start working on the map some more, and I could have the entire map finished in about two weeks time. That's cool and all, but without a satisfying bike system, the game is literally a world you can walk around. And honestly, that's not gonna be too fun. So long story short, guys, bike system. I have two uncomplete ones, two non-finished ones. Uh, I need to hop in and see what all needs to be added. There's definite pros and cons to each system, but it's hard to bring on a programmer and say, hey, here's two bike systems, both scripted completely differently. Plus whoever the new programmer is probably scripts completely different than that. So it feels like we just have to keep restarting. And what's so hard about it is there's no other games like this on Roblox. We have a couple games where you can ride motorcycles in, but none of them have all the features that I would want in this game, like burnouts, certain wheelie tricks, stoppies, and much more. So it's not like I could just go up to a game developer who's already made a game like this and saying, hey bro, I'll give you X amount of money for this sort of a bike system. Nobody has one that's completed. And this, this is where I'm running into a bit of an issue. As I stated before, we have spent a lot of money already just to end up with two incompleted projects. Luckily, the second bike system guy wasn't gonna charge me until each thing was finished. So we didn't lose any money there, but we did lose a lot of time. And time, oh, that's, that's more valuable than the money. So now I'm sitting here with a bright light in my face at 2.22 a.m., all right? Nice after midnight, still awake, kind of like just pondering, what do I do? I can't just go hire anybody from like the comment section, for example, because there's too many people with bad intentions. Maybe they hop in, take the map or all the bike models or the old systems, like you never know. And trust me, I've searched dev form, Twitter, um, hidden devs, like every place I could think of for developers. 
But once again, nobody makes bike systems. I've talked to five different chassis makers for vehicles, including people that have worked on huge Roblox games, and they're either a bit out of my budget at this point in time or completely booked and have no time to start another project. So guys, I guess I'm just asking for ideas. The dream game is 100% still gonna happen. I'm like, just a little setback, but I'm still gonna be working on it just the same amount as I have been. I don't wanna end up finishing the map and then months later the game finally comes out because the scripting got done, but there was months of a gap with no content on it. I feel like that's a marketing L. However, this video is a sad update for you, it is. But I do feel like I need to be 100% transparent with how the game's going, what setbacks we're facing, and everything like that, because uh, I know some of you guys are making games too, and not everything's going perfect. It never does. Now that I have talked your ears off and told you guys what's going on with the dream game, I guess we can get into some questions from the previous video's comment section. If you're new to the channel, at the end of every video, we answer three questions from the video before. Let's go. Wow, this is actually a, a question kind of revolving around this topic. Uh, KS Polar says, how do you create ideas and stick to the game? Me and my development team tend to get bored while creating our games and just scrap it completely. I've done this a lot and I've realized there has to be something a little bit more than money that you're hoping to gain from the project. For example, Selfie Simulator Remake, which I made a pretty cool map for, and there's only a couple more zones to make. I haven't been motivated to hire a programmer or get GFX made or get that game done because the only reason I would really do it is, hey, this can help fund the dream game. Paying more developers, more scripters, more blah, blah, blah to get onto this. And uh, money is motivating but not as motivating as something you actually care about. I'd say money's not the end term goal in life, it's freedom, which uh, freedom's a lot easier when you have money, so that's why we all get it confused. But I gotta say, man, your ideas are probably revolving more around how much money can I make from this project instead of what kind of project could I make that I think would be fun and that my friends think would be fun. Even though I've hit a couple brick walls with the dream game, it's still my number one priority. The number one game I'll sink money into, time into, full attention into, I'm never gonna give up on it, even if it's a flop. Because I know that me and my buddies will still have fun on it. That might have been too long of an answer, and it might not have been an answer at all, but that's what came to mind when I read the question. Question number two is from Afrigamer6067. When you update your game, will you make it's kind of like an event with cutscenes and stuff like Mad City, or will you have a loading screen that says updates? Guys, this is like one of those, those polish features that's like, yo, let's do this for the updates. Like, it's not even in the plans yet. My full brain power and full focus is going to just getting this into an alpha or beta state. So I have some sort of delivered project. A ton of you guys watching this video have donated to this project to help it come to life and it's like I want it to be alive so you guys can play it. Of course I hope to have cool cutscenes and everything crazy for updates but I haven't really gotten that far ahead and I'm focused more on the main gameplay loop right now. Question number three is from Bacon Eater 46 Are you doing dream game streams every Friday or just as much as you can possibly do? Uh, for a while there, yes, every Friday was a dream game stream because there were things I had to do that wouldn't make good videos. For example, optimizing the bikes. Even on streams, that was boring, but at least we could all talk to each other. Now, I don't really know what I'm doing on streams. I kind of click go live and hope for the best. Definitely not a great plan of attack. But dream game streams and videos will still happen, and I'll do my best to keep you guys up to date if we find anyone who can continue on either of the systems we already have or someone who has to start once again on a bike system.